Hi guys, so I know it's been a while since I've uploaded on this channel. I've been filming videos, but they've never been up to par, so I never uploaded them. Um, I have big news, but I'm not going to tell you until July, so stay tuned for that news. It's right around the corner, actually. I'm not going to tell you until a couple days before you know what's going on. So, um, the news should be coming maybe July 9th or 10th. Depends on if I'm busy or anything. I will be working starting July 6th. Um, so this video is going to be my, um, most, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Uh, brain fart. I can't think of the word. Uh, this is like one of the most epic, that's not the word, but it'll do. One of the most epic paranormal experiences I've ever had in my entire life. So, why? I think it's changing. My laptop is, I don't know. Um, so let me just give you a little bit of background information on the place I had my experience in. So it was at my great aunt Dorothy's house. And this house I've never been comfortable in. I actually did live in this house with her at one point in my life. Not for long though. It was maybe like a few months. Um, I just, I was never comfortable in that house. And, like, if I had to go to the bathroom, I would rather pee my pants than go up to the bathroom by myself. I just didn't like the house. It gave me a very creepy feeling. And it just... I didn't like it. So, the day this occurred, we go to my great aunt's house. And they party or whatever. You know how it is. You're not supposed to drink and drive. My mom does not drink and drive. So we had to spend the night. And, um, my mom and my brother were on the couch against a wall that was facing my aunt, my great aunt's TV and that stuff. And then I was on the love seat by myself and there wasn't, it was like a partial wall behind me, but then there was the hallway and, like, a wall where the wind, like, where a window is. So, everyone is asleep. There's nothing going on. The TV is off. Uh, I don't know how old I was. I want to say I was, I think I was in second grade. Because if I was in third grade, then we would have lived on the same street, and we didn't, because if we lived on the same street, we would have just walked home. Um, I was either in second grade or fourth grade, one of the two, because we didn't live, I don't know, I don't know how old I was, I was really young. <laughs> And let me just throw this out there. I'm not making this up. This actually happened. I'm not exaggerating anything. And par the paranormal just has been in my family since before I was even alive. So if that gives you any clue. Um, so as I was saying... Everyone's asleep, I'm asleep, and um, I like to lay on my side, so I was sleeping on my side facing away from the back of the love seat, so I couldn't, like, if I looked up, I wouldn't be able to see behind me. So, um, I'm sleeping, no big deal, I don't hear anything, but all of a sudden, I get this feeling that I need to wake up. So, I wake up, and I sit up, and I look around, and then I have this feeling that I need to look 
behind the love seat that I was sleeping on and onto the floor. Now, I wouldn't have just done that if I just woke up to like switch my side that I was sleeping on. I wouldn't have done that. I would have switched my sides, laid back down, gone back to sleep. So, I looked behind the love seat and I see this woman passed out on the floor behind the love seat and now mind you there was a party going on and everyone was wasted and you know my thought was that you know maybe someone just passed out drunk behind me and just decided to sleep there and nobody woke her up so I think nothing of it and I go back to sleep <laughs> so I wake up that morning and I look back and she's not there anymore. Um, so I tell my mom and everyone else what happened when we were having breakfast or whatever. And they told me that the woman I had seen, we'll call her Kay. So they told me Kay had gone home. And I was like, what are you talking about? I saw her sleeping behind the love seat on the floor. And they just said, Kirsten, she went home. She was not there. And so I'm, like, thinking, well, who was behind the love seat on the floor? And they're like, we don't know. Everyone went home. It was just my Aunt Dorothy, my mom, my brother, myself. I don't know if my cousin Nicole and Renee were there, but if they were, they looked nothing like this woman I saw sleeping behind the love seat. She had blonde hair, and it looked like she was wearing a fur coat, which, the time this happened, fur coats were most likely in. I mean, hmm. Like, you know, like, how people wear fur vests, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it looked like. She had a black shirt on and jeans. And, I was just so flabbergasted that I'm, here I am. I'm this young kid. I've never had, like, a major experience before this. Um, so, I'm trying to make sense of what has happened, what I saw. And I, sitting there, I just kept thinking to myself, well, it had to be her, it had to be her, it had to be her. Like, I don't, I didn't know who else it could have been, and then... You know, I started thinking, well, I know this place is haunted because it just, it's the creepiest house ever. And it's not just because it's an old house. I don't really know how old this house is, but if you go there, you'll know, you'll feel it. It's the creepiest feeling ever. You constantly feel like you're being watched. And I hated being there, as I said before. So, we never found out who it was. It certainly wasn't a physical person like you and I, but that's what it looked like to me. And I wasn't seeing things. When I saw this, I didn't need glasses. I was still young, and my eyes were good, okay? So I wasn't seeing things. The light wasn't playing tricks on me. I saw a full person lying down on the floor behind the love seat. Her eyes weren't open or anything. She just looked like she was sleeping. So I, that's why I thought that someone was sleeping behind the love seat. I didn't think anything of it. Um, today, that has been by far the most... I still can't think of the word I want to say. What's the word? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it stayed with me, not because it was, like, super scary, but because it was so profound. That's the word. Um, it was just such a profound experience for me, and that, like, kind of, like, jump-started it for me, like, my interest in the paranormal. And it didn't make me want to become a paranormal investigator. That's not what made me want to do that. It just, like, made me interested, and I would always ask my mom after that, like, her experiences, and I would ask my great aunt her experiences, and to this day I still ask them because they just have amazing stories. Um, 
yeah, so that was my most profound experience by far. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just, it was crazy. So, before now, I used to think it was this lady, the lady's doppelganger. And if you don't know what that is, it is basically a spirit that looks just like you. And many people believe that if you see your doppelganger that you're going to die, or if someone else sees your doppelganger that you're going to die, um, this lady is still alive today. Um, so I don't think it was her doppelganger now. I think it was another spirit that just looked similar to her. Because at the time I was so young and she was the closest person living that looked like the person lying behind the floor. So my mind to kind of like rationalize it at the time, that's who I thought I had seen. I didn't like stare at this person for long. I just looked, saw her, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. Went back to sleep. So that's why I thought that it was her. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, I will be uploading more videos. There will be a video in July, and I am planning on... walking through the cemetery every day after work and I'm going to like film a little bit and take pictures and if you would like to see a compiled like video on that if I have any experiences then give this video a thumbs up comment down below what other kind of videos you would like for me to see if there's any like paranormal shows you would like for me to watch and review for you guys and give my thoughts on them or if you've had a paranormal experience and you want to share it with me and you'd like my thoughts on it, go ahead and comment down below. Or you can private message me here on YouTube if you're not comfortable with commenting for everyone to see. Because the paranormal is such a... <sighs> controversy... Controversial... Hmm. Controversial topic. I don't know why. I mean, I am... a 100% believer in the paranormal and supernatural. Um, yeah. So, for the month of October, I'm going to be filming Halloween tutorials on my beauty channel, and then, like, ghost stories on this channel and stuff like that. Like, stories I've heard and just, like, making up my own and telling you guys. Or you can private message me yours and I'll put them in a video and give my thoughts on them. Uh... My mom is home. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below and um, like this video if you liked it and the story. And if you've had a similar story, please tell me about it. I'd love to hear paranormal stories from everyone else. Yeah, uh, that's it. Bye, guys.